Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of The Wrap Up with Sharon, a series on my channel where I talk about a couple of the latest YouTube happenings all packaged nicely into one single video. Today I will be touching on Kira from OK Baby, Frank Murrow from Britney and Baby, as well as Love Meg and her news of selling her home and moving to Europe. I never got a chance to touch on this topic and I do have some thoughts, so if any of those topics sound interesting to you, then please keep on watching. If not, I will catch you in the next one. Alright, so welcome back. Before I get started, you guys know the drill. This is my channel where I share my thoughts and opinions. That being said, I'm not saying that I'm right or wrong. This is just my perspective. If you have a different point of view and you would like to share it in the comments below, please do so. If not, that is totally fine too. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's dive into our first topic, and that is Kira from OK Baby. Um, I think she hasn't really been involved in too much drama recently, and I think since everything kind of unfolded in the month of May, all the speculations, all the rumors regarding her and Preston possibly dating, it's kind of been a whirlwind, and she's kind of chosen in my opinion it kind of seems like she's chosen to disengage and kind of take a step back and she hasn't really given commentary channels or drama channels like myself too much necessarily to work with because she's been so quiet on social media but I kind of want to take us back and do a little recap of the month of June she did go to Arizona with the travel mom to be a part of a social media event I always find these things like really really interesting because I don't know if they're necessarily advertising the place that they're staying at or if they're advertising the activities that they were doing or if it's just a place where um, other influencers can share you know helpful tips amongst each other and they can share resources and more information so that they can do their job better or improve upon their job I don't know it's just all really interesting I had a lot of fun on Instagram around this time with you guys and if you're not following me on there go follow me at sincerely Sharon speaks it's kind of like a digital archive of all the screenshots that I take um, but anyway I had a lot of fun around this time because I did like a poll and I had you guys vote for who you guys thought was dressed the best what your favorite outfit was and I am by no means saying that I am you know super fashionable and knowledgeable on that stuff but I do think that fashion and just the way that people dress is a really cool way of self-expression and I mean obviously like I change up my hair all the time I like to do crazy things so I really like seeing other people and what they wear and the outfits that they come up with I don't know but it was really fun for me so I definitely plan on doing more of those if they ever do get together I, I think it's fun um, it seems like they did biking they did karaoke they just it was really really fun from the looks of it um i don't know what's going on here i don't know what frank was doing like <laughs> i just thought it was funny um but anyway the resort that they stayed at was really really beautiful i did look up the resort where they stayed at and it's kind of pricey it's about 500 dollars a night but it seems like it's a very like relaxing place so i was telling my husband like we need to go to arizona scottsdale and you know things like that it just seems really relaxing but um, I was curious as to how their dynamic was going to be because this is kind of like the first time that they're all getting together since the OK Baby separation, since all the OK Baby drama and speculations of Kira dating Preston. So I was very surprised. I guess I shouldn't say I was surprised, but nobody acted like if anything changed they still went on about tagging Kira this seems like they all hung out like normal like if nothing had changed so it does kind of pose a question for me if all of these rumors and speculations are maybe not true or maybe they are true and her friends just don't care and they're just here to say yes queen keep on doing you keep on living your best life so I don't know I thought that was that was interesting um, after that Kira went on Instagram and she shared um, a story basically saying she's moving on she's sick of addressing it and I thought it was interesting because she hasn't really addressed any of the specific rumors or allegations stating that she cheated on Oscar that she is dating Preston so I'll play that for you guys now a little bit difficult but anyways that's besides the point 
I'm done with my break now. I want to start uploading again. Um, and I wanted my first video back to kind of just be like a chatty video rather than, I don't know, like a theme video, just like a hangout video. I thought I would answer some questions, not like full. It's going to be a mix between like a life update, mental health. Okay, of course it cut me off. It's gonna be a mix between like a mental health update. She then goes on to say that she specifically will not be answering any questions relating to friendships, relationships, any of that stuff. So basically all of the good stuff that people actually have questions about. I, I don't know why I've noticed influencers do this often and it's like they have drama circulating them. People have questions about obvious things and they completely avoid the obvious thing you know what i should say i know why they do it because it's very obvious that they're using it to their advantage and to generate more views because people are so interested in the q a and they want to know and she's just not going to touch on it so she's going to capitalize on people wanting to click on her video to see if she spills the tea but she's not going to do it so genius I guess. Something else that she posted that I think she is very aware of the rumors and all that stuff circulating her. So she just kind of pokes a little bit of fun and this is um, allegedly you can hear Preston or a male voice in the new OK Baby video. Um, let's see. Um, something that I Very did want to point out is that a lot of people were DMing me saying, hey, there's two cups of coffee there. Like, why did Kira get two cups of coffee? And then the next slide is of her doing her daughter's hair. And you can hear a male voice in the background talking with um, her son, Levi. So I don't know. And it's extremely caffeinated. So if you're like new to caffeine or don't have a lot of it, don't get this. This around you, so it doesn't Yes, there is. All right, really good. So I don't know. You can definitely hear it. I do have this post on my Instagram if you guys kind of want to go back and replay it. But there definitely does sound like there's a male voice in the background. A lot of people are saying, oh my God, it's Preston. It's Preston. But I don't know. We don't know. We didn't see who it was. We don't know any of that. So I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Um, and then she posts this TMI question about UTIs and all that stuff. And one of the questions that she got or suggestions that she got was maybe daddy is causing you issues. And she goes on to actually answer. I do want to clarify that when people send you responses or, you know, answers to your questions or whatever, you don't have to post it. But she's just kind of like poking fun. She obviously knows that commentary and trauma channels are talking about her and people are talking about her. So she goes, daddy reminds me to pee after sex. Does yours? And I'm just like, Ugh. like girl, like we didn't have to know that. We do not have to know that. The last thing I will be touching on Akira from OK Baby is she recently did a sponsorship with Oscar and I don't know, it was it was a sponsorship for her channel. So I'm really curious how this works. Do they go half on the halfway on the sponsorship or does she pay him a certain amount? Because girl, he was doing the work. He was doing the most on this bike. He was going hard. Like he sold me on this bike. Like, <laughs> I went onto the website and was like, I need this bike. Um, so I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Like how does, how does that dynamic work? If the sponsorship is on her Instagram, but Oscar is helping to promote the bike, who, who, who's profiting? It's just interesting. So I don't know if you guys remember, but we used to have a bike in this corner that I actually took when I moved. So Oscar needed a new one. This is the Free Feet bike. It's so sleek, so cute. It comes in so many different colors as well. There's a pink one that I kind of wish I would have got, but it's okay. This one is so cute. I love the brown. Did you guys see how hard Oscar was going on? Let me play that one more time. He was doing the most. Look, he's like, buy this bike, buy it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I found it so funny, but I just thought it was so funny because he's going, he's going hard. Okay. So the next person I want to talk about is Frank Murrow from the Britney and baby channel. So if you guys don't know, um, they actually started this small business, um, around the time that they were saying, Hey, we're going to take a step back from family vlogging and we're going to do this. And this is supposed to be, you know, our sustainable business that's going to replace our income from 
family vlogging. So uh, it hasn't been really touched on since March. It does seem like orders have slowed down a little bit, but it also seems like they're not investing as much time as far as marketing their products and advertising for their stuff. Um, obviously they do have their hands full with all of their children. I think they have five, yeah, five kids. So I can see how that's very hectic. Um, but again, it, if you're not promoting and not putting your product out in front of your audience, it's kind of hard to generate sales. So um, he posted this story saying, hey everyone, I want to apologize for how absent I've been here on Instagram. I've been working on something very important behind the scenes. All I can tell you guys, it's something big. I just want to say thank you for staying here. I'll be posting more about what's coming soon. Love you guys. So I, I find this particular post really interesting because at the end of the day the channel belongs to Brittany Morrow Brittany from Brittany and Baby she was the one who kind of started all of this but it definitely seems like um Frank has taken a more important role across all of her social media platforms and I just find that very strange because he's kind of like an inst um a YouTube dad right like he's the husband he's usually the behind the scenes person right that's how it is for jessica from jess fam that's how it is for a lot of these content creators i know it's different for oscar because he kind of started the channel with kira but frank kind of well very much came after the channel was established after the channel had a very substantial following and fan base so he kind of has become an influencer in his own right i mean this post is a very generic thing that an influencer would post thank you guys for being here i love you guys so much can't wait to share some more information so um at first i thought that they were going to be doing a re possible rebrand for simply etched um but it seems like frank is very much working on his own personal business and i'm very curious to see what that actually is the next slide is simply etched posting we will be, we will be back with force next week few orders going out today uh, you guys can keep reading that but that is all they said and that's kind of what led me to believe that maybe they were doing a rebranding for the simply etched st store is him saying we will be back with force next week but after they posted that they kind of didn't post anything else so i don't know it's just another interesting thing and he keeps teasing that he's going to be releasing something big. So the next thing was, I honestly can't wait to tell you guys what I've been working on for months now. This weekend will bring me one step closer to chasing a dream of mine. So um, someone said OnlyFans and dear God, no, that's what he said. Um, something truck related. Nope. A mayonnaise brand and he doesn't like mayo so that's probably why they said that and then he goes on to post this sneak peek which is like bro what is that grass like your business is grass so some people when i posted the poll on my instagram some people said landscaping some people said house flipping uh, some people said like a some sort of renovation business um we don't know um but then Brittany went on to post and said for the last for the couple for the past couple of months this has been my view endless phone calls we can't wait to share soon what frank has been working on so excited to see him start a new business venture so i don't know leave me your suggestions or your guesses in the comments below on what you think his new business will be we'll we'll find out shortly i know right now they're on vacation um where did they go in nashville so obviously they're not going to be posting anything related to dropping huge news but i'm very curious to see if they post something in this coming or in these coming weeks we will have to find out okay, so the last person i'm going to cover is love meg they recently released a video saying this will change our lives forever in this video they basically said that they will be relocating to europe not right now but they will be within the next i think they said after this year they will be moving so at the start of 2023 i'm assuming um they start saying that they're going to sell their home that their home has nearly doubled in price i think that's what they said yeah their home has nearly doubled in price so that is why they're looking to to you know make a profit and why not travel the world 
Um, a lot of people have given her a lot of backlash and listen, I am here to tell you that I think Love Meg has terrible, terrible customer service skills. Like she talks to her audience in such a crappy, shitty way. She gets really agitated with the smallest and simplest of questions. And I totally understand where or why people give her a lot of flack when it comes to that. Because I think that she's so, she comes across as so entitled. She talks to her audience like in a condescending way. And it definitely rubs me the wrong way. Like if I was following someone and they were constantly talking to their audience or to me, their viewer like that, I would obviously be super turned off. And I'm not sure. I would be subscribed or still following them because of their demeanor and the attitude that they have when it comes to their audience. Who, I might add, are the reason that she is in the position that she is in today. So, but when it comes to her getting all of this backlash surrounding her, deci her deciding to move and relocate to Europe, I will be really honest with you and say I do not understand it. I do not get it. I don't agree with it. Um, I, I definitely see where people are saying, oh, I definitely see what people are saying when they say that she's possibly doing this for views. Her channel has been on a steep decline for a while. She's been getting less and less views. She's not as popular as she once was. I definitely see what people are saying when they say she's just doing this for the views. Her channel has not been doing all that well for a while now. She's just not as big and as popular as she once used to be. And something I do want to add is I do think that if she is to move, I definitely think her content will change substantially, not just to being a dedicated cleaning channel, but more to like a hybrid type cleaning channel, travel vlog channel, because sh there's obviously gonna be so much to do, so much for her to see. And also for the most part, Airbnbs are already staged. They're already decorated. They do have basic um, like cookware, utensils, a, a couple of basic seasonings, at least all of the Airbnbs that I've stayed at. Um, so I don't know what she's gonna like decorate there or necessarily cl clean. It's gonna be the same exact thing every single day. And I don't necessarily see her traveling with all of these decor items and things like that. So it definitely will be interesting to see her adapt her content to constantly moving all of the time. That's really the only thing that I see could be a potential inconvenience to her. Um, a lot of people were talking about her children relocating and I personally, I have two kids myself, and if I was financially able to do that for maybe a year, me and my husband always talk about that, I would, I think I probably would do it. I mean, all of these experiences, you get to expose your kids to new cultures, new foods, new languages. I definitely think it will expand their children's horizons and a lot of new doors and opportunities will be opened with them traveling to different destinations. So I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing in my opinion. A lot of people are concerned about her dog. I think she has two dogs and one of them, if not both of them, are elderly dogs. So I don't feel too comfortable giving my opinion on this just because I've never had an elderly dog. I've never had to deal with any of that. What I will say is I do have a pup and I personally would love to bring my dog with me if we were to ever travel long term like that. I would feel terrible leaving him, leaving her behind with a family member or something like that. It just wouldn't feel right to me. I would, if I were able to, I would like to take my dog with me. So I definitely can see Love Meg's perspective on that end. But I also, again, don't feel too comfortable really speaking on how to properly take care of an elderly dog. I don't know if the flight might be too much for the dog or if the constant relocation. I mean, I would think that the dog would be happy to follow their owner and be with their owner wherever they may be. But again, I think that's kind of like a sensitive topic so I don't know I'm very interested in hearing my audience's opinion on loves Meg's relocation to Europe her selling her home how do you think that's gonna affect her content I have so many questions but that is all for this wrap-up I'm sorry if I was all over the place I have a lot on my mind but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye